So you might be sitting here wondering what happened to the game against Eastern Michigan that was supposed to be this episode. And well, it got corrupted, but we did end up picking up a huge 41-20 victory over the Eagles. Jalen Poe had another fantastic day in the running game as he had 194 yards and averaged almost 6 yards on the ground per carry. But the biggest takeaway from what would have been last episode was we'd become the number one school on three-star quarterback Ben Merrill's list. With some extra points left over, we also added Randy Bobo, a three-star center, to our prospect board who we were hoping to maybe try to catch up to Toledo and Western Michigan on. But this matchup against Ohio was super important because we had some other recruits to focus on. Four-star right tackle prospect Larry Gunderson was visiting this week against the Bobcats, as well as three-star gem athlete Quinn Flanagan who will soon figure out what position he'll play. Trent Butt was the last recruit visiting as well and we needed to sign him because we did not have a kicker slated in our depth chart for next season. Hopefully we can get a win here at home today and pick up those three recruits as we look to continue our winning streak here in DeKalb against Ohio. Jake Siebert had the ball teed up and NIU was kicking this game off as Freddie Braverman the true freshman set back to receive for Ohio and he would put the football on the ground. NIU special teams forcing a fumble and recovering it on the opening play of the game setting their offense up with great field position here to start the first. That pass would be completed to Jake Applegate now on second and nine a handoff to Kyle Thomas. He would pick up six yards for the Huskies as Hampton back to throw is going to complete that one across the middle to Keyshawn Pipkin. Bringing the ball down to the two yard line. First in goal to go for the Huskies. Man in motion. It's going to be a handoff. Kenji Lewis and the senior receiver finds his way into the end zone as the Huskies strike first against Ohio. That would bring out Callum Wither and the Ohio offense for the first time today as they did not get a chance after the kickoff. That handoff up the middle to Ricky Hunt is going absolutely nowhere as he's stonewalled by the NIU defensive line as they go back to him again. He has a couple more on this play. The sophomore back picking up seven for the Bobcats, bringing up their first third down of the day. We'll see if NIU can get off the field here with her back to throw. That's going to be intercepted by the Huskies defense, their second takeaway of the day. The junior linebacker Wyatt Wright with the big play for the Huskies defense, and that will give the ball right back to the Huskies. Huskies on offense with great field position once again as they're going to hand it off to Jalen Poe for a pickup of 11. The sophomore back getting them down to the Ohio 20-yard line already in field goal position. Here is on first and 10. That's completed to Kenji Lewis. Bringing up now a second and five as the Huskies going right back to Jalen Poe on the ground. He's going to be just short of the first down. And now the first third down for this Huskies offense today as Ethan Hampton in the shotgun dropping back to throw. He's scanning, going left side. He has his tight end Jake Applegate inside the five yard line and the senior tight end gets them down to the one yard line just shy of the end zone as Ethan Hampton back to throw he finds Keyshawn Pipkin takes a hit in the end zone but holds on to it for another NIU Huskies touchdown and just like that NIU is up 14 to nothing over Ohio thanks to two takeaways from their defense as we have yet to even see a first down from the Bobcats. That handoff to Agenon Wilson going for a loss of three on the first down. Now backed up to a second and 13 with her back to throw. That's going to be completed across the middle to Caden Hurst. He would pick up six yards on that play for the Bobcats, but still with a third and seven with her back to throw in. That's going to be completed. The senior tight end Jake Bruno with the reception for the Bobcats, getting them their first first down of the day. As now it's going to be a handoff to Ricky Hunt on first down. He has some room to run in more. The sophomore back just shy of the 50-yard line. Picking up another fresh set of downs here for Ohio as they are looking to turn things around off to a slow start today. As again, another solid pickup there from the sophomore halfback. Now it's going to be play action on second and three. Callum Weather. he's taking a deep shot to A.J. Miller who comes down with this reception over two defenders and takes it into the end zone for an Ohio touchdown. What a play by the red shirt freshman tight end for the Bobcats. Definitely turning things around for them here in the first quarter. And just like that, Ohio is back in this game and has got some momentum going their way as it is 14-7 as the Huskies take back over on offense. If Ohio wants to stay in this game though, they can't be giving up 10-yard carries like that to Jalen Poe the rest of this game. As they're going to hold the sophomore back to only three on that first down carry. Second and seven now going back to him again. In, and he has a huge hole up the middle. 
goal. No reason for the Huskies to get away from the run game if it's working that well. As right as I say that, Hampton back to throw. That's going to be completed to Kyle Thomas spinning his way forward. And the redshirt sophomore picks up the first down for NIU as they go right back to Jalen Poe. Met almost immediately by the Ohio defense as he's only going to pick up three on that play. They're going to try it again, breaking one tackle. And again, another small pickup there for the sophomore halfback as the Huskies faced with a third and three, which they will pick up no problem to Jake Applegate. And Ethan Hampton has been off to a great start for the Huskies, not taking any deep shots, but completing the passes he needs to and making smart decisions for the Huskies, helping them get down the field. And the success the Huskies have found in the ground game early on has definitely helped contributed to that as Kenji Lewis taking it right side on the jet sweep fighting his way into the end zone the senior receiver with a second touchdown of the day and that is three touchdowns for the Huskies offense here in the first quarter alone as we still have 28 seconds to go Ohio takes back over on offense here Ricky Hunt only picking up three on that play as we are at 16 seconds and counting might only get one more play after this it's going to be a quick pitch to the sophomore halfback who's met almost immediately and this will be the last play of the first quarter as Callum Wither in the Ohio offense facing a third and four just barely getting the snap off in time that's going to be completed across the middle to Dom Dorwart for a first down and that will bring us to the end of the first quarter as the Huskies have the lead 21 to 7 over Ohio start of the second quarter as Ohio has the ball at their own 47 yard line first and 10 it's going to be a handoff to Ricky Hunt who picks up eight second and two in the pistol formation and it's going to be another handoff Ricky Hunt who has the first down just barely for Ohio and this second quarter seems to be off to a better start for the Bobcats than the first as back to throw is Withers that's completed only picking up a gain of one on that short pass play as they're going right back to Hunt again and he has another first down and more as he's gonna slip a tackle down inside the 10 yard line. Ricky Hunt with a great run for Ohio set it up first and goal from the four as they're gonna hand it off up the middle here. Adjanon Wilson only picking up two on that play he's still in the backfield for Ohio they're going right back to him as he's met immediately. And I use defensive line got a stop on second and goal let's see if they can get a stop on third and goal here. Ricky Hunt back in the game and this is gonna be a fumble Trey Porter scoops it up for the Huskies Ricky Hunt tailing him closely down the left sideline he's cutting it back to the right side at the 30 at the 20 at the 10 no one's gonna catch Trey Porter touchdown NIU their third takeaway of the day and their first defensive touchdown of the game the defensive line with a huge stop forcing a fumble from Callum Wither before he could pitch the ball to Ricky Hunt and just like that NIU with the defensive touchdown takes a 28 to 7 lead over Ohio as this is getting close to a blowout here in the second quarter that play went absolutely nowhere for the Bobcats offense bringing up a second and 10 as they're giving off to Ricky Hunt for another short gain the sophomore halfback only picking up one on that play third and long for the Bobcats right side that's gonna be completed for a first down and more Rodney Harris the junior receiver keeping this drive alive for the Bobcats as first and 10 inside and NIU territory they're sticking with the run the Bobcats really seem insistent on trying to make this running game work as it really hasn't done much for them this entire first half as they're gonna go right back with a halfback draw maybe I spoke too soon as rookie hunt puts the ball on the ground it would go out of bounds though so Ohio retains possession first and ten as this one is going absolutely nowhere Ricky hunt would lose one yard on that play is now trying to set up the halfback screen and John sheets is all over that for NIU the redshirt freshman coming up with the big sack for the Huskies defense forcing a third and 22 as they are trying to go with another screen here and it's going to pick up some but it is not going to be enough for a first down as now Ohio is going to miss this field goal wide left and the struggles for the Bobcats continue today. What was looking like a promising drive for Ohio turned into zero points for the Bobcats and NIU's defense has been doing just as good a job today as their offense has as they're looking 
looking to extend this lead. Third and two now for the Huskies as we're nearing the two minute timeout here and they're going to pick up the first down as this should be the last play here for the Huskies before we reach the two minute timeout. It's going to be a play action. Ethan Hampton, he's going right side and that's almost intercepted. A dangerous throw there from our red shirt senior quarterback but Ohio cannot come away with the interception as this will bring us to the two minute timeout here. Huskies with the ball just at midfield and they still have some time to work with here as this play is going backwards. Setting up a second and 13 now as they were moving backwards on that last play. Ethan Hampton looking to get them going in the right direction. And he would help pick up seven with that pass completion to Kenji Lewis bringing up now a much more third and manageable six to go as Jake Apple gets stumbling forward but picks up the first. The Huskies now getting close to field goal position as Ethan Hampton is going to be picked off. It's Gio Loya of the Ohio defense getting the first takeaway for the Bobcats today. A big play there by the redshirt junior linebacker in Ohio. Stops NIU who was looking to drive and score before halftime. And while they are down by 21, maybe that did take some momentum away from the Huskies as now Ohio has a chance to score. They would use their first time out after picking up the first down with just over a minute 10 to go as first and 10. Wither back to throw. He's going right side. That's going to be completed. Rodney Harris with his second reception of the day for the Bobcats as that brings the ball into NIU territory. Callum Wither back to throw. He's going to be intercepted. Jake Gassaway with the fourth takeaway of the day for the Huskies defense. And whatever momentum Ohio had taken away from the Huskies, they got right back with that interception and they had a chance for more points here. A great throw on the run there from Ethan Hampton to Kenji Lewis for a first down. Now taking a shot to the end zone. That's knocked incomplete. Second and ten. Yet again, Huskies not far from field goal range, but they're definitely thinking touchdowns as Hampton is going to be picked off once again by Gio Loya, his second of the day. Two possessions, two interceptions for the junior linebacker. And if it wasn't for those two turnovers, NIU could be up by so much right now. But instead, Ohio is going to get one last chance here. Second and 13, only 31 seconds remaining as Wither back to throw. This one intended for Chase Hendricks across the middle. That would be completed getting Ohio down to NIU's 45 yard line as Wither in the shotgun dropping back to throw. That's not tipped and caught for a reception. Great hand-eye coordination there from Rodney Harris as he pulls in his third reception of the day what should have been an incomplete pass as Wither back to throw. He's hit and dropped for a loss and with no timeouts remaining that would run out the rest of the clock here in the first half as NIU with a big 28 to 7 lead but definitely could have been more. NIU with a great defensive performance in this first half with four takeaways and a touchdown, but those two sloppy turnovers at the end of the half definitely left some more points on the board they could have had, and they will definitely be looking to clean that up here in the second half today. The Huskies would start out with the ball to start the second half from the 25-yard line, and it would be a handoff to Jalen Poe to open things up. He would only pick up two on that play as now Ethan Hampton back to throw. That's going to be completed to Kenji Lewis, and the senior receiver picks up the first down for the Huskies, and they're going to get this third quarter off to a good start. Just as I say that, though, going backwards for a loss of three on that play looking to make it up and they're not as Ethan Hampton would go down for a sack bringing up a third and 16 and despite that five yard completion to Kyle Thomas it would not nearly be enough for a first down as we would have to see the Huskies punt here which they never seem to do a lot this season maybe to the benefit of the Huskies as KJ Stark a local standout punter a true freshman for them from Oswego High School maybe needing some more time to develop. But with that punt from the freshman, that would give Ohio the ball as they take over. Here's second and seven. It was going to be the read option, and Callum Wither would take it himself. The junior quarterback picking up the first down for the Bobcats as they would go back to rookie Hunt, who has the first down and more. Pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line, nearing midfield here as they're in the shotgun, and they're going to go right back to Hunt up the middle, who's going nowhere. Huskies' defense were all over that one as second and nine, and again, another handoff 
to the sophomore. And yet again, the Huskies defensive line all over that one with a chance to get them off the field here now. Third and eight. That pass is going to be completed across the middle to Chase Hendricks. Bringing the ball now down into Husky territory at the 34-yard line. Just over 340 to go here in the third quarter as it's going to be another handoff. And yet again, going nowhere for Ohio as NIU's defensive line has been playing amazing today. Sending that one in the backfield for a loss of two. Bringing up third and 12 now. Wither back to throw. Looking to set up the halfback screen here to Ricky Hunt who's going to be forced out of bounds. So a fourth and five for the Bobcats as Gianni Spectic, the sophomore, comes out for a field goal attempt who's going to miss wide left and the struggles continue for Ohio. And that is the sophomore's second miss of the day. So Ohio yet again failing to capitalize here on points against the Huskies defense. And they've been making it very hard for the Bobcats offense to do anything here today is now Ethan Hampton facing pressure. He's going to throw on the run to the left side. He would connect with his true freshman tight end Kevin Shaughnessy setting up a third and two as once again the Huskies would be shut down on third down as KJ Stark comes out to punt and it's going to be blocked by the Bobcats defense. Finally something seems to be going their way as they will get the ball at the 23 yard line with her back to throw. That's going to be completed to Chase Hendricks for a first down. He would go down with a minor injury though and would have to be out for a couple plays as that's going to be a fresh set of downs giving it off to Ricky Hunt and yet again the NIU defensive line all over him. They have been a brick wall this second half. Forcing now a third and eight as we have two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Wither audibling at the line, dropping back to throw. Pressure coming, it's knocked incomplete. The NIU defensive line again getting great pressure this time on Callum Wither to force the incomplete pass as we'll see if they can knock home a field goal and they will. Spedic knocks it home from 27 yards out and it's not a lot but Ohio has started to cut into this lead here. NIU has as they still lead 28 to 10. Jalen Poe. Breaking off a big one to the 30, inside the 20, inside the 15. A huge play to get this drive started for the Huskies as they already find themselves in field goal range. But you already know they are thinking touchdown as it's a play action. Ethan Hampton rolling on the run, knocked incomplete. A chance to score a touchdown on first and goal slips out of their hands, but this time he's going to connect with Kyle Thomas for a touchdown on the RPO play. And whatever momentum Ohio had taken away, Away from NIU the Huskies took it right back with that three play drive and they would go back up 35 to 10 over the Bobcats here as they're looking to get something going on offense handing it off to a rookie hunt with under a minute to go here in the third quarter Ohio needs to get something going on offense and they needed to get it going fast as that pass is going to be completed to Mateo Ruiz down inside the 10 yard line first and goal to go for the Bobcats here as man in motion with her in the shotgun and it's going to be a handoff to Ricky Hunt who's diving his way into the end zone for Ohio's second touchdown of the day. So just as we were saying they needed to get something going on offense, they would drive down the field and find their way into the end zone as now NIU taking back over. And we'll see if the Huskies get this last snap off before the end of the third quarter. They do. It's going to be a handoff to Jalen Poe who picks up the first down and that will bring us to the fourth quarter here. NIU with a 35-17 to lead. You would have to think that this this game couldn't be going any better for NIU in their visiting recruits as they needed this win and it looked like they were going to get it today. But the game wasn't over yet so we couldn't say that for sure as NIU was looking to tack on some more points this drive. And already past midfield here just 30 seconds into the fourth quarter as it would be a sweet pitch to Kyle Thomas who would get the corner and barely would just be short of the first down as that would bring up third and inches. The Huskies go into Keyshawn Pipkin this time who has the first down and plenty more. Down to the 27 yard line of Ohio as it's going to be play action here. Rolling out to the right is Hampton, and he's going to dump that off. No, it's going to be dropped by Jake Applegate, something we haven't seen all season from the senior tight end. So that would set the Huskies up with a third and five to go as Hampton is going to take a shot to the end zone. Great defense there by the senior safety, Adonis Williams, as he would force NIU to kick a field goal, and they would knock it home. Jake Siebert definitely having a much better second half of the season here with the Huskies as He's gotten into a groove, and there is going to be a flag on this play. Hold it. Hold it. Up it. Up it. 
So what was a first down completion and more to Rodney Harris is now turned into first and 20 for the Bobcats as they're going to set up a halfback screen here to Hunt. That play only going for a yard. Second and 19 now with her in the shotgun. Hunt to his right, dropping back to throw. He's going to go left side, knocked incomplete. Jacob Finley with the great pass protection there for the Huskies, forcing a long third and 19. With her back to throw, pressure coming immediately. They get to him. NIU with another stop. This defensive line has been something else for the Huskies today as we are now going to see Kenny Luth come into the game to play quarterback for the Huskies. The senior redshirted at the beginning of the year slated to be next year's starter. So we will see what Luth can do here with the Huskies offense as there's 345 to go in the game. It's going to be a handoff Jalen Poe. He would pick up five on that one making it third and three play action. Kenny Luth rolling out to his left and he's going to take this one and just short. Coach Brooks keeping the offense out on the field. Pressure coming and Kenny Luth is going to be picked off. That's the third interception of the day for Gio Loya of the Bobcats defense in Ohio. Takes back over here on offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to need to pick up more than two yards of play though as we are under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Down by 21 as that pass is completed. Third and inches as Caden Hurst would pull that one in for the Bobcats. With her back to throw going across the middle. Completed. Knocked. Incomplete. It looked like Chase Hendricks had the first down reception but that would be knocked loose by the Husky secondary fourth in inches. Hand off to Hunt who has the first down. The sophomore back just barely picking it up. The Huskies defensive line not able to get a stand there as we are nearing the two minute timeout with their back to throw. He's going right side. Another flag on the play. Hold it. Hold it. Up it. Up it. That's the last thing the Bobcats offense wants to see. Backed up to a first and 20 now. That's going to be completed to Rodney Harris. Down to midfield as that would bring us to the two-minute timeout here. Not a lot of time left for this Ohio team as they're going to go right side. Completed for only a gain of five yards. They need bigger plays than that. Wither going right side. Knocked incomplete. Poor throw there from the junior quarterback. Had a man open as that will bring up third and five. Dropping back to throw. Had has a man along the right side and it's Rodney Harris down to the one as they're going out of the shotgun formation here on first and goal from the one the Bobcats needing a touchdown desperately Wither finds Rodney Harris for a touchdown the Bobcats get six but they need plenty more as they're still down two possessions the onside kick here is going to be recovered by the Huskies hands team and there's not much left for Kenny Luth and the offense to do here as they are just going to need to run out the clock it's going to be a pitch here to Kenji Lewis who has the first down and more that's going to pretty much do it here for this game as now another handoff here to Jalen Poe who picks up the first down stopping short of the end zone and at this point Point, no use in using their last time out as the senior Kenny Luth would kneel this one out and NIU is going to get a big 38 to 24 victory over Ohio and this was a big one with lots of big name recruits in attendance today. Kenji Lewis the senior receiver named player of the game with 100 reception yards and two touchdowns. Ethan Hampton having a very statistically sound game from the pocket today but it was the run game that really got things going for us today as the Huskies averaged seven yards per carry on the ground and once again a great day from the defense forcing four turnovers from this Ohio Bobcats offense today. Jake Gassaway would not only be named MAC Defensive Player of the Week, but his six tackles and one interception would also get him National Defensive Player of the Week. That win would land us four-star right tackle Larry Gunderson, three-star middle linebacker Quan Flanagan, and the recruit we needed the most, three-star kicker Trent Butt. We had taken an even bigger lead over Northwestern in our attempt to get three-star gym quarterback Ben Merrill, and we were slowly making progress on center Randy Bowe but we were still pretty far behind Western Michigan in Toledo. But we were still going after him strong as we would schedule him on a visit in week 13 against Miami of Ohio. With the new additions to our recruiting class, we currently held the 22nd ranked class in the entire country. And for the first time this series, we found ourselves ranked inside the top 25 as we found our way to the number 20 spot in the nation. And hopefully we can hold that spot and continue to rise up the polls as we're back at home again next episode for a conference matchup against Western Michigan.